what's up guys all right so today we're going to be talking about ranked 2.0 how you rank up what is hidden mmr and why do i start as copper 5 so we're gonna be talking all about that and more we're going off the, the most recent patch notes on december 8th and just basically talking all about how solar raid even functions so your skill which is known as mmr or elo will be a hidden value used for matchmaking so yes you're copper 5 but that does not mean you are going to be playing against copper fives and people that are completely new to the game what that means is it is going to be taking your rank your your hidden rank and you're matching up against the people there. of so your rank funny. so if i'm a let's say i'm a champion hidden elo player but i'm copper five i am playing champions at copper five so how does this go up and down so you won't be able to see the number go up and down but if the enemy team has a higher hidden MMR than yours, when you if you win, you're, you'll go up by a lot. If you lose, you won't go down much, and vice versa. So if they're if you're higher than them, if you win, you won't go up that much. If you lose, you'll go down by a lot. So basically, it wants to give you an equal chance at winning. So hidden MMR is going to match you up and down until you're at a hidden MMR where you are going to win about 50% of your games. So as you play more matches, the uncertainty value of your hidden MMR will start to move slower. So let's say I play 200 games. Every win and loss of my hidden MMR is going to go up and down by less of a margin. But let's say I only played like five or 10. I'm gonna be moving up and down extremely quickly. Let's say I win 10 games in a row. My hidden MMR is going to be very high, very fast. So if you just started playing Operation Solar Raid this season, and you were ranked last season, your hidden MMR is going to be set to whatever rank you were last season. So let's say for me, I was champion. So my hidden MMR was, was killed. They like yeah. said champion. So my very first game was against an entire pro league stack. So it was a very hard game and it seemed kind of ridiculous for copper five, fight, but, but uh, it out. makes sense if you really think about it. The system wants to give everybody an equal opportunity at winning games half the time. So everybody's happy and you know you're ranking up and down and getting to the rank that you deserve and know the hidden mmr is not a number that you will ever see but you will be able to tell where about your hidden mmr is based on who you are playing and as you rank up it will become a little bit more apparent where your hidden mmr is which we'll talk about right now so as you play let's say your hidden mmr value is around what a plot would be so as i rank up to the plat i'm gonna get plus 80 elo every single game that i win it and i only lose nine well how it's balanced out is if my hidden mmr value is around let's say gold or plat as i approach that rank i'll start to win less and i'll lose more per game until it's about a 50 50 win and lose so basically i'll, I'll win 50 let's and go. i'll lose 50 let's say if i'm a plat player when yeah, I'm the wall higher is plot the and wall low is diamond, I'll start to win 50 and lose 50. So if I really want to rank up higher, I will have to push my hidden MMR up. So a lot of people that started day one, because the system is new, like all the champion players were playing against really hard opponents, and all the lower players were playing against each other, lower level opponents. So a lot of people had different feelings on how the first couple days went. But now after a couple days, the lower level opponents... I have one. I have one. Like the, the golds and plats oh, and the lower diamonds are now having to play some champions that have been playing against pros and getting kind of smacked around a little bit. So now they're having to play against people that are generally not much of a challenge. And it is a little hard to get past that. Oh, shit, up. Champion is easier to get this season than it has ever been for champion players. But you will have to play quite a few games and honestly oh. it's really not going to be that difficult yeah. if you're playing in a stack you can probably manage it in probably about 40 to 50 games to get champion if you're in a decent stack but uh if you're solo queue don't feel discouraged to solo queue this is honestly the system is honestly really great for solo queue I, i've been doing a lot of solo queue matches myself and as long as i'm winning and losing about 50 percent i'm slowly ranking up my hidden mmr is set really high well, i know it's set really high because of I can tell who I'm playing against. I'm still playing against pro league players, so I know I'm playing against Uncle champions. So as long as my I play well and I'm winning the matches that I should be winning, 
I hit an MMR will stay about the same and I'll rank up slowly to champion. So this is the best season for solo queue, duo queue, what have you, to rank up in Rainbow Six Siege. So rank 2.0 added a new rank called Emerald between Platinum and Diamond. That's a sop in the steep progression between the upper part of the ladder. So you go from bronze, so you go, sorry, you go from copper, bronze, silver, gold, plat, emerald, diamond, and then champion. And there's different numbers in champion depending on how high up you are. So you can keep going on forever and uh, become number one champion. So the entire system of rank 2.0 is to give people more fair matches. So you are going to get to a point if you are yeah, not a champion level player, if you're let's say gold, diamond, plat, whatever, you're gonna to get to a point where you win every other game and you're going to find it hard to rank up until you improve or play in a stack or what have you. It wants to make everybody get to a point where it is fair. How this rank system was before, let's say champions, when they play together, they'll win 25 ELO and when they lose, they'll lose 150. This is extremely aggravating for champion players. It makes people want to quit the game at higher elo and honestly was very not fun with this system Champions will be able to get their champion easier and lower ranking players will be able to find their skill and be able to improve With in real time like you, you'll see where your rank is at and you'll be able to rank up quickly to that elo and Essentially hit the highest elo you have ever hit so far So there's five ranks in every elo besides champion. So there's like we're gonna start at let's say silver five, have to go to four, three, two, one, and then you'll move on to the next rank, which would be gold five. And uh, basically that's just how it works. You keep going. Every rank only has a hundred elo, and at the start, let's say you're a gold level player at copper, you are going to get 80 RP per match, and you're only going to lose about nine RP per game, which is very generous. Even though during those matches, you are going to play opponents that are ranked a lot higher than you. Like I'm playing people right now and I'm, I'm currently while making this video, I'm currently a gold three or gold two. And I have played people last I'm night who again. already have their champions. So it's not balancing off of your shown rank. It is balancing off of your hidden MMR the entire time. Another generous thing for people that are losing a little bit more than nine ELO, you're gonna have a demotion shield. So let's say I'm at one RP out of a hundred I'll lose a game and I'm losing let's say 50 elo. I'll only go down one elo right before I will get demoted. So you can only get demoted when you are at zero RP and you lose. So at the start of every season, they're not going to reset your hidden rank. They are going to reset your shown rank down to copper five and you're gonna go through the ranking system again. But trying to get to as high as you possibly can during that season. We need rewards along the way. So like different ranks are going to have different rewards like skins or player cards, etc. So if that's, you know, what you want to go for, go for it. But personally, someone like me, I want to be able to try to get the highest rank I possibly can every season, shown rank or hidden rank, etc. I don't really care. The games have been a lot better this season. They have been honestly amazing. I have played probably about 40 ish games and I have played maybe one cheater, one cheater wow. game out of those games. So I'm not sure what they did to the anti-cheat. I didn't know they were working on something, but the games have been a lot better. And the only cheater I have seen so far was a very blatant cheater that was very obvious. And even when I play a blatant cheater, I only lose nine ELO. So honestly, it's not too much of a headache. So now you're going to be able to play with whoever you want in ranks 2.0. So let's say I'm a Diamond, yeah, I can play with that. a copper yeah, five. Ten, ten seconds later, so that safe. will not make the matches any different because the hidden MMRs are going to be set like to so certain levels. Things. Let's say you play with someone on a brand new account. Every game that they win, they're going to rank up very fast in their hidden MMR as they play harder opponents. So you're not going to have that many games where it feels like it's like super it's free. So if you're playing with a teammate who's a little bit worse, it will, will still be fairly balanced. All right, guys, that is it for the changes to rank 2.0. Hopefully this helps a lot of you guys understand some of the changes and how rank 2.0 changed the ranking system. I do think that this is going to bring a lot more players to Siege because it feels more fair for everybody and it doesn't stop you from trying to achieve higher ranks, especially if you are 
an average gamer so hope you guys enjoy make sure to subscribe drop a comment and leave a like for more till next time